is Mr. Smoke. I'm from the hip hop group known as MPC, most popular criminals. Don't get it confused, we only criminals because we rebels to the system in hip hop. Three college graduates make up the group. No degrading of women, no gun talk. We sell our music hand to hand on the subways of New York City. We managed to move over 180,000 CDs out of our book bag. After work, my man Driz managed to quit his job and live off of hip hop. That's a beautiful thing. You can log on to the website right here, mostpop.org. My line's the dopest, the DEA knows this. If you're looking for some gangsters, I tell you to go fish. Swift like a lotus, wipe your eyes and get focused. Could that be the reason you broke and joking while I be smoking? Mics like crack pipes, coping with what's going on in my life. Tell us about the crew. Who is the in crew, it? Driz, Mr. Smoke, NPC is the unit. We got a couple of members who come in and come out. Breeze with the wind, come through, drop a line or two, come through, drop a hook, do a little concept here and there. But the team is solidified with Mr. Smoke and Driz. Driz do 98% of the production. I bang out a little 2% here and there. And that's how we do it. We just stay working. We're trying to bring something to the hip hop table. We here to add something, not take nothing away. We only here to add on to hip hop. You know what I mean? I respect hip hop like it was my daughter. That's how we doing it. We're not here to be buffoons, to be coons, running around my gum bump this. I sold this many drugs. Who cares? September 11 is coming up. Definitely. What September 11 is real dear to me. That was my brother's birthday. He got murdered in 98. You know what I mean? God bless the dead. Then the towers fell. So that day is always going to be dead to me. It's a double whammy right there. I didn't lose anybody on that day when the Twin Towers collapsed, but I lost my brother and that was his birthday. So that day is always going to be dead to me in my heart. You know, I felt the tower should have been rebuilt already, but, you know, there's a lot of politics involved with that. That's beyond me and, you know, how I feel. So, you know what I mean? God bless everybody who was lost on that day. And, Stay on the grind like I got a baby on the way, but I don't, I guess I'm just crazy. F-Y-I-U-S-O-B, it's NPC, 100K in the street. This is for my cousin, no, I'm not a crip like Snoop. I got one, that's the blood, my seat, criminal. It ain't no sense in fighting and going to war over nonsense, you know what I mean? War been going on since the beginning of time, since in the Bible, like, we supposed to be such a highly advanced race and culture, why are we still fighting? That don't make sense. It's enough of everything in the world. It's people who don't have water. And we fighting over what? Over what? They got weapons? We got weapons. How long we had weapons for? What if somebody came over here and attacked us because we had weapons? We sell a CD for $1 on the train. That's our sixth CD on the train. And you know, the fans on the streets are showing us love. We got the TV show coming up. Most pop TV on BronxNet. We're gonna burn DVDs of the show for people who don't live in the Bronx so they could be able to purchase it on the trains. The DVD is only $2. People's probably bugging like, yo, why are you selling your music for so cheap? It's all about volume. Artists in the industry, they confront and talk about bling bling, this and that. But they only receive about 98 cents off of each unit sold. We sell our CD for one dollar. We burn our own music. We got 15 burners. We stay up night and day burning the CD, label them, slide them in the cover, fill up the bag, get out in the streets. If it's your music, nobody can sell it better than you. I just got married in October. Paid for my whole wedding, my honeymoon. Wedding, reception, everything, all off of CDs. Hip hop has been good to me. I want to thank you. That's why I will never degrade you, hip hop. I love you. I love you. I love my wife. I got a menage a trois going on. Both of y'all in my bed every night. NPC, that's what it is. They told me uh, this afternoon that, uh, that underground hip hop is hard to find in New York. It's really hard to find. It don't make sense to me. Like no. I went to school in South Carolina, I was down there for like five years. 
We was pushing our music down there, doing very well. But we decided, yo, we from New York. New York is where we need to be at. So we gonna come back up here and just flood it out and, you know, get it popping. We came back up here and it was like, it was almost like a ghost town. It's a hundred, hundreds of thousand artists up here, but it's not a lot of venues for them to do their thing. Some spots pop up, disappear, one month they here, then they gone. There's nothing consistent except for EOW, end of the week, right here. That's crazy. That's very ridiculous. So you gotta find their way at, you know, you might see a flyer, you better get there quick. Cause it ain't gonna be there in two months from now. And that's crazy. This is where it's at right here. End of the week, EOW, New York City. If you don't know, I don't know where you've been at. If you don't know, maybe you're from Holland. That's the only reason I would excuse somebody, you know what I mean? But if you're really about hip hop, you should know about EOW, End of the Week. The longest running open mic in New York City. Right here, 101 Avenue A. These dudes are some serious connoisseurs of the culture. You come in here, you're gonna learn something. You're gonna be able to vibe with some serious hip hop artists. You might learn a thing or two. You're gonna have a good time, no fights. I've been coming here the last three to four years, no fights up in here, no shootouts in the front. I, I ain't even see an argument up in here because everybody's here for the love of hip hop and it's a beautiful thing. White, black, young, old, everybody's welcome in here. It's all about hip hop and hip hop is universal. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just too this world with everything in it and this conspiracy. I'm on my world. Thoughts execute out of my head instead of falling down. I stay up. I'm hyped up. Bye, it's the mist. What's ultimately coming my way? Controversy amongst the two legged they can hang for her. Every day the well of books that are strange. Gave up animal instincts for brains. All earthly. Dramatic chain reaction. Bring a passage and walk through it. To me, that's the only way to do it. Screw some of the dopest shit. Lyrical fix. Beethoven couldn't write my shit. My world traumatized as a youth. Only in my element do I find what's the cause of keeping up with time. Why should I do time with my brain thinking of a crime? So living with thoughts past your time in the mix of all this crime. I'm also in this though they call it twin greed. Conquest, the friction moves what the game needs. So let the same comply to big daddy can't breathe. Like when you're not known to fight for this. I turn the price for this with 80 to 10 coaches. I need to dance your life to rest. But you would need your life to rest for this. Rest for the day. What's up, Holland? How y'all doing? What it do? It's your man Charge, big homie Charge from Hard Headed Entertainment, standing in front of Fat Beach right now, just promoting my latest album, you know what I mean? Hudson County King, which was written and, you know, written by myself and produced by JDO. Um, you know, I wrote and recorded that album in three days, so, you know, just to let y'all know my work at the crazy. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying, when somebody get the notice and discover the boy, you know what I mean, y'all get to know me and love me, so. So I stay G'd up, niggas G's up, WAP gang, till the day I meet Jesus. Always about the memes, never about peanuts, and we got more than 5.5 between us. Even though I'm high, I'm focused, niggas, so wheeze up. For that nine, be smoking, you died and freeze up, now. Picture me rolling in the 900 beans after killing this strip with 900 bricks. Out of a thousand hoes, I bag 900 chicks, and the other 100 bounce cause they like my nigga trip, shit. But I ain't tripping, I'm just pimping like a motherfucker, down in Texas. And sipping on some scissor like a motherfucker Bitches running in and out my telly like a motherfucker Bitches back in Jersey hit my celly like a motherfucker Niggas wanna see me, but I'm ready like a motherfucker Niggas wanna be me first, better get some hunger fucker Dollar day the thug, holiday got the world buzzing Even haters loving from they first to they third cousin And I ain't bugging, I'm taking over the underground Get your death gear ready, you're now going underground ATL of the way, I was hugging the underground Killing the strip even when them folks came around Getting my pitch on, and I was did for a year, and they day a nigga had new kicks on. Persistence is everything, so no matter what, don't stop doing what you're doing, man. Stay focused and do what you do, you know what I mean? Only, body that can, the only person that can stop you from doing what you want to do in life is yourself, so you got to get out here and do what you got to do no matter what.